All Saints Parish Church sits high upon a hillside, overlooking the Peak District town of Bakewell. Founded in the year 920, the church still retains a number of Anglo-Saxon elements, including two 9th century crosses. Further examples of Anglo-Saxon stonework are displayed inside the west porch, against which also leans an irresistible lineup of stone coffins. The church boasts an impressive octagonal tower, adorned with grotesques on each vertex. In the early 1840s, the tower was almost completely rebuilt as part of the restoration works by the Sheffield-based architect William Flockton. Like the church's tower, All Saints font has eight sides. Octagonal designs were popular as the number eight in Christian numerology symbolises a new beginning and follows seven, which is seen as the complete number. To the north lies the chapel of St Michael and St George. The chapel was created to honour those lost to war and features a Reredos designed by Ninian Compa. Also in the north is an 1893 window by the Victorian painter and glass designer Henry Holiday. In the pre-Raphaelite style, the window depicts the adoration of the Lamb by all the saints. At the western end of the aisle is Charles Kemp's portrayal of St George and St Hubert. St Hubert is known as the patron saint of hunters, mathematicians, opticians and metal workers. Between 1879 and 1892, the chancel was restored by architect George Gilbert Scott Jr. One of Gilbert Scott's most notable buildings is the wonderfully Gothic Roman Catholic Cathedral in my former hometown of Norwich. Upon the row of beautifully carved marble saints sits an impressive engraving of the scene on Mount Calvary. In the south, the new ark is home to a number of alabaster monuments, the earlier of which dates from 1385 and is dedicated to Sir Godfrey, Constable of High Peak. Here you can also find the tomb of Sir George Vernon, famously known as King of the Peak, and his two wives. In 1563, Sir John Manners and Vernon's daughter Dorothy eloped, much to her father's disapproval. Sir George was, however, eventually won around, and a monument to the couple lies beyond his tomb. At the opposite end is a large monument to Sir George Manners and his wife Grace, who founded the Lady Manners School in Bakewell in 1636. I do hope you've enjoyed this short tour of All Saints Bakewell, and you join me again soon for more church crawling adventures. <laughs>